Rough Timeline of Early Biblical Sources and Influences Compiled by Sparrow the Sissy Bronze Age Ancient Egyptian myths, including R.A. on a solar barge, Set the God of Chaos, Thoth who judges souls after death, and Healing Miracles by Isis. Legends of Seraphim and Nehushtan, Fiery Serpents of Divine Wrath. Babylonian and Assyrian myths, such as the global flood caused by a regretful god, and the Ark of the Few warned in advance. The Enuma Elish, Akkadian creation myths about Marduk splitting the sea goddess Tiamat to create the sky. Canaanite Latin legends, the seven-headed sea dragon beaten by a powerful god and fed to the people on the land, creature later adapted as Leviathan. Ball Cycle, Canaanite legends of storm god, Lord Ball being mad about living in a tent and demanding humans build him a house. Goddess Atherat, Ashira. Moat the god of death in the underworld. Death and seasonal resurrection of Baal thanks to intercessory prayer. Canaanite and Egyptian legends of Anath, warrior goddess. Canaanite legends of El and his children the Elohim, including Ashira, Baal and Yahweh. Legends of Rephaim, Anakim and Nephilim, demigod giants born of the heavens and earth. Bible repeatedly references ancient beliefs that the firstborn of every womb belongs to the Lord, meaning the king of the gods El, or possibly the god kings. These sacrifices or passing the child through the flame are often done to win favor of entities related to variations of the word Melech, meaning king. These include the infamous Molech, or Mulkim equals Melechim, kings, or maybe a distinct god Milcom, in some translations. Theophoric town names and their associated legends, such as Balhazer, Balmian, Anathoth, Ashtaroth, Bethel, Yisrael, or landmarks such as Kadesh Barnea, holy place of desert wandering. Standing stone legends like Bethel, a tall rock believed to be inhabited by a god. Tribe names based on oral legends of ancestors, such as given in the Table of Nations, lists in Genesis 10. Surviving written Hebrew era. Earliest verses from Proverbs translated slash, adapted from Egyptian wisdom literature into Hebrew. Lost Book of Yeshur songs of heroes, battles, miracles. Occasionally quoted as a source in the Bible archaic Hebrew. Legends of Elhanan defeating the giant Goliath. Earliest original biblical accounts. Archaic Hebrew sections such as the Songs of Balaam, Numbers 23-24, Devorah the Hornet's Song, Judges 5, Blessings of Jacob, Genesis 49, Hannah's Song, 1 Samuel 2, Psalm 8, Moses' Song, most of Deuteronomy 32, discusses when God divided the sons of man slash Adam, referenced in Genesis 10 verse 25 where Peleg is named for when earth was divided, which is later attached to the Tower of Babel dispersion of peoples. Deuteronomy 8-9 describes the highest god, Elyon, granting the land of Israel and the people of Jacob as an inherited portion to Yahweh. Yahweh here is a god of lesser power, implied to be El's son, aligned with Canaanite polytheist legends like the Baal Cycle. Deuteronomy 32 verse 22 refers to Yahweh's fiery anger burning down to Sheol, the pit of the grave, often translated as hell. Deuteronomy 32 verses 32 to 33 refers to the sour vines and bitter clusters of Sodom and Gomorrah, whose wine is like venom, with no other wrongdoings alleged. Deuteronomy 32 verse 17 condemns sacrifices to the shed dim, shades or false gods, a word tied in Psalm 106 verse 37 to child sacrifices, often translated in both places as demons. Earliest surviving narrative accounts of the Shemites appearing through Genesis 15-37, Abraham, Isaac, Rachel, Jacob, and Esau, very limited references to Joseph dreaming about ruling Canaan perhaps settling Canaan from the east, famous promised land and like stars in the sky promises from El Shaddai, God Almighty, to Abraham, father of multitudes, without any caveats about idol worship or intermarriage. 1200-1100 B's Bronze Age Collapse, Invasion of Sea Peoples slash Philistines, Iron Age. Joel's locust plague poetry about a day of the Lord natural disaster, crop failures. Rhetoric about Yahweh pulling Canaan out of Egypt, after Egypt withdraws forces from region, due to generally collapsing empire. Rhetoric against pig-eating, uncircumcised Philistines. 
Song at the Sea, pre-Deuteronomic account of Moses, named Pull Out, pulling out the people of Israel from Egypt. Stories of Moses or some now unknown prophet, constructing Nehushtan, the bronze seraphim slash snake on a pole to save all who look upon it from snake bites. 900 BC David's wars with Philistines, invasion of Zion, establishment of House of David, legendary tribal lineage. Construction of First Temple, perhaps earlier than David but David took credit for it, perhaps embarrassing admission that David's son Solomon had to finish the temple points to this claim's truth. 885-874 B. King Omri of Israel, successful reign that provokes jealousy from the south, 1 Kings 16 verses 16 to 29, House of Omri, attested to by the mesh steel, Akkadian carved tablet with oldest surviving mention of Waisaro meaning Israel. Davidic and royal legends continue to develop, alongside mundane royal records utilized in Kings and the surviving books of Chronicles. David credited with defeating Goliath, the post-Diluvian giant Philistine? Post-Assyrian era. 720 BC The Assyrian invasion of Samaria slash Israel, Sennacherib's invasion and withdrawal after being paid off by southern king Hezekiah. Hezekiah's Passover celebration and Yahweh's monotheism implemented. Northern refugees welcomed into Judea. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob stories combined with core of the Moses Exodus accounts along with stories of the prophet Samuel establishing a link between the old prophets, especially Moses, and the Davidic monarchy. Founding King David is rendered mostly monotheist in retrospect, despite some theophoric names of people, and places related to David pointing to Canaanite polytheist traditions in Judea. Nehushtan snake statue in Jerusalem temple, attributed to Moses destroyed by Hezekiah. Asherah worship still officially continues alongside Yahweh after Hezekiah. Sumerian practice of mourning the seasonal dying and resurrecting god Tammuz is referenced in Ezekiel 8 verse 14, and a similar collective mourning ritual by the young women in town supposedly takes place centuries earlier in Judges 11 verse 4 for Jephthah's daughter. Also resembles later rituals mourning death of Adonis in Aphrodite's arms. These seem to form a family of related myths and springtime resurrection celebrations, which evolved across many centuries in the Levant. Prophets like Hosea, Amos, and maybe Isaiah blaming Samaria's general moral failings for Assyria's invasion, God's refusal to intercede and defend them, further development of Day of the Lord, concept as Day of Divine Wrath, increasingly associated with war. Yahweh's prophets blaming the former religions of the northern refugees for provoking Yahweh's wrath and allowing Assyria to invade. The Lost Books of the Chronicles of Kings of Judah and Israel 687-674 BC King Manasseh's popular, though not entirely Yahwist, long-lived reign in the south. 672 BC King Ammon's murder after only two years, resulting in his son Josiah appointment to throne as a child. Young, King Josiah commissions writing of Joshua's conquest of Canaan, which are modeled as Josiah's self-insert, aspirational hero set in the mythic past, justifying violent religious zealotry. King Josiah's boastful portion in Kings capping off the propagandistic redactions from the lost books of Chronicles and Yeshur, resulting in the Deuteronomic histories. Deuteronomy found or more likely written by Josiah and Hilkiah, Huldah. Under Josiah, people first read Deuteronomy 6 to crowds, commanded in public, Hear, O Israel, Wajabuj is our God, Wajabuj is one. And you shall love Wajabuj your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Demonization of Ashura and Elat, Ashura poles and t- Josiah killed in battle, southern kingdom crumbles under Josiah's heirs. Heirs. Babylonian era. Demonization of Ashura and Elat, Ashura poles and t- Josiah killed in battle, southern Terebinth trees begins. Solomon's Ashura shrines destroyed. Manasseh's shrines to Ashura and Baal also destroyed. Josiah killed in battle, southern kingdom crumbles under Josiah's heirs. Babylonian era. 586 BE Babylon invades, 
destruction of Second Temple, and the literate scribes known as the Exiles are taken captive into foreign empire and forced to learn the language to serve their king. Last Davidic king, Zedekiah, blinded and executed in captivity. Ezekiel has hallucinatory episode in early exile, possibly related to post-traumatic stress disorder and or epilepsy, writes against Judea's wickedness and makes, failed, predictions about Babylon turning Tyre and Egypt into a wasteland, Ezekiel 26-32. His visions of God flying in an elaborate chariot pulled by winged chimeras, Ezekiel 1. Spawned the Merkaba mysticism tradition of seeking deeply mystical experiences, dreams, and altered states to receive messages from Yahweh. Judean scribes re-educated with Babylonian myth culture, left to salvage and combine folk tales, geographical-slash-patriarchal stories, royal propaganda, and temple liturgy-slash-psalms. Some of Genesis, Exodus, and Deuteronomic histories harmonized. Book of Lamentations, though possibly more recent. Possibly the 70 years prophecy from Jeremiah still during exile. Persian era. 559 BC Persian conquest of Babylonian Empire, return of exiled families and their slaves to Israel. 538-516 BC, reconstruction of Jerusalem Temple A, the Second Temple, re-establishment of Yahwism, henotheism leaning towards monotheism, development of priestly source of Torah, retelling of Moses' solo stories featuring Moses with Aaron and the whole congregation of Israel. Yahweh Elohim becomes less bodily, more abstract and unseen, unseeable. Firmer thematic ties between Moses and temple priesthood of Jerusalem. Most of the Book of Numbers. Greater development of liturgy, psalms, proverbs. Books of Jeremiah and Isaiah amended with hopeful happy endings of redemption from exile. Dash 331 BCE. Alexander the Great founds Alexandria. Egypt, eventual hub of learning for Jewish elite during Hellenic, Greek era. Greek era. Minus 313 BC, Alexander the Great invades Israel. Hellenization begins, introduction to Homeric myths, Hesiod, Socrates, and Plato. Adonis, Lord. Death and resurrection myth develops or spreads. 285 BC, beginnings of Septuagint translations of Jewish scriptures and literature into Greek, commissioned by Ptolemy. Joseph in Egypt story. Genesis 37, 39-47, possibly by Hellenized Jewish diaspora in Alexandria, Egypt, in favor of cultural mixture, marriage to foreigners. Book of Esther, set during fictional king of earlier Persian era, within living memory of the start of the Babylonian exile. The name Esther is chosen to conceal Hadassah's Jewish identity. This is widely understood to be referring to the Babylonian fertility goddess Ishtar, Reflecting Esther's enchanting beauty. Later Daniel, prophet modeled on Joseph in Egypt, failed Hasmonean era predictions about Greek Antiochus IV. Intertestamental period, Herodian era, Apocrypha, Enochian literature of spiritual battles. Roman era. 63 BCE, Rome invades Israel. First century C, most recent Dead Sea Scrolls from Qumran caves, likely from centuries old Essene community. 70 C Second Temple in Jerusalem destroyed during First Jewish Roman War. 134 C Bar Kokhba revolt fails. Romans raise Judea and ban all Jews and Christians from Jerusalem.